Your keyword worksheet is an absolutely critical document that you want to create for your SEO project. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to research your keywords and then put them in the correct categories for an effective blueprint for your search engine optimization project. Keyword worksheet. Let's get started. Okay, so now let's look at the keyword worksheet. And what you want to realize is that you're going to have your keywords are going to cluster into these fundamental, what we call core keyword phrases. So dry cleaning is a phrase, right? Or uh, wash and fold is a phrase. And they might add helpers. So they might say Stanford dry cleaning or best dry cleaning in Stanford or home pickup and delivery dry cleaning, which is so important to us. We want to put it in its own little category. Um, so think of those core keywords as the anchor phrases that really get to what you offer and what people want. And, and the mistake that people make is that um, they sort of they sort of think that I have thousands of keywords, and that's not really true. Most businesses have about four or five fundamental groups. And remember, if you look at uh, Progressive.com, is sort of an, another company that I love to look at, right? So Progressive.com, you know, they don't have thousands of keywords. They have a group called auto, a group called homeowners, a group called motorcycle insurance, etc. So they have maybe five major groups and maybe 15 minor. Okay, now on your keyword worksheet, on column B, this is where you put your core keyword. So this is where you put in that core fundamental phrase. So home delivery dry cleaning is so important to us, and it's definitely hot, hot, hot. If they know that that's what they want, there's a lot of money in that service. So home dry delivery dry cleaning is one. Wash and fold is sort of an example where the customer is never wrong. Uh, we don't really do wash and fold per se, which is where you would bring your clothes into the dry cleaner and then they would clean them for you. Rather, we do home pickup and delivery, but the customer is never wrong. And so some people will search for that uh, as a target. Uh, and then we have same day cleaning and just the generic dry cleaner. And then we have specialty cleaning, which is really sort of a subset of like purse, wedding, dress, et cetera. Now, I often ask the client to mark these hot, warm, cold as to what are really hot, definitely your client, definitely a customer you want to reach, okay? So this column A is hot, warm, cold. Column B is your fundamental core phrases. And then we also know we have certain help phrases, best, top, top rated, and in this situation, the cities are very important and we also have service. So then what happens is think about it like a word game. So you take wash and fold. And so people will do best wash and fold Stanford, right? That would be a phrase. Or they'll do best dry cleaner New Canaan. Or sometimes they'll just put in dry cleaner, the short tail. Or sometimes they'll put in New Canaan dry cleaner. Or they'll put in... So you have a phrase like purse cleaning, and it can be best purse cleaning, but purse cleaning, they probably just put in purse cleaning, and they'll put in purse cleaning plus the city. Okay, so column B is your core keywords. Column C is your helpers. Column D is where you sort of put out some of the keywords that you're looking at, kind of what would a sample phrase that people would put in. And the volumes, you're getting those volumes from your... Um, research from your Google AdWords keyword planner. And then I also like to list some of my competitors so I can go check out uh, what's going on with those. So this first dashboard tab, think about it like it's how you're going to organize uh, your patterns. So the cores are the most important patterns. The helpers are the additional words that are added. The sample phrases are created by columns B and C, the volumes are because you want to pay some attention to the relative volumes of your keyword phrases. I like to have my competitors right under my thumb so I can see what they're up to, uh, and that's going to tell me what's going on. Now, jump ahead to how it works. So you're going to have a core keyword, home pickup and delivery, that's going to become a landing page. And then on the landing page, you're going to put things like best top, top rated. You're going to put your cities, you know, Stanford, Westchester County, etc. So we have a nice landing page and notice how we have cities in there like Greenwich. So we have a landing page for 
home pickup and delivery that reflects on the keyword worksheet the core phrase home pickup and delivery. Then we also have, for instance, a landing page, like to look at our micros. We have a landing page for wedding dress cleaning. That would also go over here, wedding dress cleaning. So we have a landing page, wedding dress cleaning, that reflects that column on the keyword worksheet. Okay, so now let's look a little bit at the other tabs on the worksheet. So the most important thing is this column B. Those are your core keywords. That's the most important because really each one of these is going to become a landing page. Now let's look at the landing page tab. And you'll see here that I've picked out wash and fold and I've indicated that I have a landing page that matches that. Wedding dress cleaning, I have a landing page that matches that. Suede cleaning, I have a landing page that matches suede cleaning. And this is so that if somebody Googles suede cleaning Stanford, right, we want to hopefully show. And let's see if we show for that. So we show in the rank and rank here. So if they're smart enough to be looking for suede cleaning and they're going to put that city in because they need somebody local, we're going to show. That's the idea. So this landing page tabs just tells us what are our landing pages. It's very common for a local business to have what I call service line landing pages and geographic landing pages. So we have a landing page that reflects wash and fold, and then we also have a landing page that reflects a city. Now, the city landing pages, you have to be a little careful. Don't overdo these because you can't get in trouble here. But we have a page that's focusing on our services in Hartsdale. So think of it like a Rubik's Cube. This is Hartsdale showing that we have dry cleaning and home pickup and specialty cleaning and all this jazz versus the landing page that's for wedding dress cleaning, which is going to list Hartsdale and New Canaan and Stanford and the other communities uh, in suburban New York City. So we've got a nice little Rubik's Cube format here. So service lines and geographics are common. If you're not doing local, you won't have geographics um, on this landing page tab. So the landing page tab tells you your landing page uh, structure. And then as you're writing a blog post, if you mention dry cleaners, you know where are you going to link that to. If you mention wedding dress cleaning, where are you going to mention uh, link that to. Now, your local tab, this is it gets into your reporting. You want to tab, again, if you're a local business, you'll have a tab called Sample Keyword Locals. And this tells you that with the location set to Stanford, Connecticut, for the phrase wash and fold, in April we were position two in local, so the B position, A, B, the second one. And for organic, we're number three. So this is where you start to chart your positions your ranks on Google in this case across your target cities for what we call short tail searches that's your sample keyword local tab sample keywords this is where I put in uh, all the variations so I take my variations that I make in this case Washington Stanford and Washington Greenwich and Washington White Plains and then I take same day dry cleaner Portchester and same day dry cleaner Stanford and then I'm ranking where what are my ranks and you can see that we have lots of ones and twos and threes on there that's our rank on Google that tells us that we're doing really well so you want to measure those over time okay and then you have a reporting tab and this is where you're going to put Month by month, I haven't filled it out, but you'd have all visits, you'd have how many goals, aka inquiries, how many SEO visits or organic visits, how many AdWords visits, how many referral visits, etc. I like to measure my uh, site indexing pattern, so that's telling me how many index. I want to measure my link authority, and I want to measure my review count. So the reporting tab kind of tells me how am I doing high level um, out there. Sometimes I might actually... Uh, reverse this and put this landing page there be a little bit better so we have our dashboard core patterns helpers phrases volumes competitors most importantly is the relationship between the core patterns and the helpers each core pattern becomes a landing page that's the landing page tab then when you shift to reporting you have your reporting month by month how you're doing your traffic your indexing your link behavior how many links you're getting and if you're local your review count if you're local, you'll have a tab for your local performance city by city for your short tails. And then I would have a tab for all of my keyword patterns measuring my rank. So let's wrap up what we've learned. So first we've learned 
that you kind of have to do your brainstorming first, get them out on paper, and then you're looking for those big clumps of keywords. And in this case, we know there's a clump around dry cleaners, there's a clump around wash and fold, there's a cl clumps around our little micros like purse cleaning or um, leather cleaning, etc. So we want to take the brainstorming and start to see, okay, where do they cluster? Kind of think about it like a, a solar system. Like there's a little sun called dry cleaning and then around it is best, top, top rated, Stanford and Greenwich and all this jazz. But the core foundational word is dry cleaning. You got to get that out there. You're going to use Google Keyword Planner or some of the other tools to do that research. Download the samples. I have samples here in Google Docs for commuter cleaners, and then I have an Excel template that you can download and use for your own company, and you're going to post populate that out. You're then going to go into your keyword worksheet, and you're going to go through your core. You're going to get your helpers, and you're going to realize that you have each core keyword becomes a landing page. Then you get your helpers, your volumes. That's kind of the most fundamental part of the keyword worksheet. And then your other tabs, this gets to mainly to reporting, where you're going to tra track your rank uh, over time. That, my friends, is a quick video on how to build this absolutely fundamental blueprint, your keyword worksheet that you need to succeed at SEO. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, put them in the YouTube comments below.